Here is step 3 out of 4 in solving the Rubik's Cube 4x4. Four four. In the last step, we paired up 8 of the 12 edge pairs, and we placed them in the top and bottom rows. It does not need to match up like this one does. It can be anywhere, like all of these. It just needs to be in the top or bottom face. Now, we have to solve for these last 4 pairs here, without messing up any of the centers. Now, if we have this green and pink, and this green and pink, and we were to do what we did with the other ones, and go like this and place them together, we would not have anywhere in the top or bottom layers to put it. So we cannot do that, because it messes up the centers. So we have to put that back. And now, we have to learn a short algorithm. It is seven steps in order to move pieces around without messing up the centers. So first, you position your cube so that so that two pieces across are the same. So, on this cube, we do not have that. So, you can make, you can turn any of these faces twice because that will just bring the pair that was down here up and this pair down here it will still keep the centers and it will just switch these two so now we have these two pieces red and black and red and black and you perform the algorithm that's on the bottom of your screen and that is D both layers of D R F prime U R prime F and then both bottom layers prime and that will switch two pieces and so now we have all four of our uh, all eight of our pairs originally still done we have all of our centers still together and now we switch the pieces straight across so now we have the two reds here together now we just turn our cube again, and here we have blue and red, and blue and red. So we do that same thing again. The bottom two Ds are F prime, U, R prime, F, and then the bottom Ds prime. Now we, again, we still have our eight pairs still have our centers and now we have another pair we have this one and this one done already now these are our last two pairs as you can tell this piece goes with this piece and this piece goes with this piece but doing our algorithm switches these two so if we were to do that none of these would work out we have to have them together since it switches them like this so we want to do our algorithm that I showed you in the last step to flip these two, which is R U R prime U prime F prime U F. Now that flipped these two pieces, so our green and pink is a cross from the green and pink, and green and red is a cross from the green and red. And now we just perform that same seven step algorithm again. D R F U R prime F both D's prime. And now that solved this pair and this pair and it left all of our other pairs intact and all of our centers are still together. And that is the third out of four steps in solving the Rubik's Cube 4x4. The next step will be in the description to this video.